All right, I am back, and this time I want to play Mono Black Discard. Um, it's been a long time, uh, been away from Pioneer, there's been a bunch of bans, and now I'm hoping that this Mono Black deck will be back to competitive. Um, so basically, we run a bunch of Waste Knots that give us value off of discarding, a bunch of cards that make our opponents discard, and then Davriel and Shrieking Affliction to make them lose life so that we win. Uh, Rankle also helps deal with creatures and makes them draw cards so we can make them discard. Uh, it all makes sense once we start playing. Don't worry about the deck too much. If you've been a longtime subscriber, hit hit the subscribe button. You know this deck because uh, it's my bread and butter. I love playing Mono Black Discard. Davriel is pretty badass planeswalker um, and it's fun to play a monocolor deck in a format like pioneer because so many people are playing uh, like five color niv mizzet and stuff like that it's cool to just show up with a oh which one which deck was I looking at eight rack comp okay fun to show up with a monocolor deck eight rack comp all right let's play against Dexter Dog. Uh, if you have any pet decks or budget decks or I guess any level of expensive red-white decks, let me know. I, I'd like to see how they play. So just let me know if there's something cool that I need to keep my eye out for and maybe sleeve up here. So put that in the comments if you have any suggestions. Alright, turn one Shrieking Affliction is not bad. Turn two Waste Knot, and then we get to unburden them for maximum value. <laughs> Gyrus Reach is a legendary land, so you don't want to play both of them. The good thing is, Gyrus Reach lets you draw a card and discard a card. Um. Oh, okay. So when it attacks, they get one energy. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and it has Menace. Damn, they just print all sorts of good cards. It's like that would be a good card even without Menace, you know? All right. Um, hmm. Do I play an unburden into this counter? Um. I think I do. Because, only because I drew another unburden. They counter it. Them's the breaks. If they don't, we're gonna get to unburden and duress, and it'll just destroy them. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, duress first. We are going to take opt so that they don't use it. And we're gonna get to discard fatal push and Joel Ryle. Let's take opt. We draw a card. Ooh, and I could Liliana's Triumph. Um, I'd much rather unburden them, though. Then we can Triumph next turn. That's how this deck crushes. You just snowball. <laughs> All right, we draw another card and get a 2-2 Zombie. Very cool. Now, the unfortunate thing is that our Waste Knot isn't going to trigger that much because... Uh, they aren't going to have cards to discard, but I can make them discard with Gyre's Reach. So, 
It's not the end of Waste Not. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Whole little energy theme they got going on. Yeah, 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 and I can't block it, whatever. Ooh, waste. I can play another waste nut. In fact, I think I will. And now I can triumph. Let's wait on the triumph. We'll see if they attack with the refiner, because then I would trade and then kill the siphoner. Don't think they're going to offer it, but we'll try. A tune with Aether, huh? Oh, well, they're gonna have a lot of energy. The sleeve is. They are getting out of the. Uh... Okay. Teferi? That's gross. I don't like that. I have to cast this now because the fairy would um, screw me up. They might just return zombie to hand, which this is all pretty fine. Another waste knot is a little troubling. Let's do this first. We'll discard a Gyre's Reach. Okay, they discarded a land, so now I have four mana. We're gonna play another waste knot. Play a burglar at see what they give us. Either we draw three cards, get six mana, which hopefully not, or we, we get three zombie tokens, so that'd be cool. Alright, draw three cards. Ancestral Recall in rat form. Nice. Wrinkle will take out well, we'll see what Rankle does. Um, oh! Yeah, let's just Burglar Rat. That'll threaten Teferi and also get us a ton of value. Now, hopefully, they discard a land. <laughs> okay, yeah. Two. Bam, baby! We've <laughs> drawn six cards this turn off of Waste Knot. This is the power. This is the power. They're gonna get to draw one extra off of Glint Sleeve. But. Oh yeah, and they take three damage. I forgot, Shrieking Affliction is just straight up killing them. We're gonna have Mummy, Dav, Wrinkle. We got all sorts of good stuff going on. Uro. Okay. That's fine. It's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there. My super rats are going to beat you, man. No one can defeat super rat. Okay. Do 
Should I attack them for two? Let's do this first. Alright, they concede. Alright, begin sideboarding. We know they're an energy deck. And they have to fairy. Um, I guess I'll just take like a fatal push and take out um uh, spies. I'll take out a fatal push and put in a duress for to fairy. I don't know. I don't know if that's good. It seemed like we had no problem with their deck, so. Let's see if Mono Black can run it back. Is Ener Someone should tell me. I'll look it up too later. Is Energy a real archetype in Pioneer, or is this just like a pet deck we're playing? Nothing wrong with pet decks, because we're definitely playing one. We'll keep this, um, it's a little iffy with Shrieking Affliction there, but, okay, what do they take? Burglarat or Duress? If they thought, seize my Duress, that's pretty funny. Yep, I mean, and now, unfortunately for Dexter, that means we're gonna, like, guaranteed to draw our Waste Knot next turn, the turn after they thought, seize. It's just how it always works when you play combo. You thought season, and then they draw the combo piece next turn. And then you cry. Are they, they're really thinking this over. They took Burglar at. Very cool. That makes me think they don't have anything to duress. But we'll see. Maybe they do. We'll at least know what their hand is. Take out Legion's End, and then they have Glint Sl Sleeve Siphoner. So hopefully I can just kill the Siphoner next turn, because that ended up being a pretty good card for them. I mean, except for removal, it, it just, it's so hard to interact with on the ground, you have to have two creatures. And then you're at risk of them removing one of your creatures. And it just is, it's a silly card. What was their hand? Uh, so it's two lands and two unknown. Okay. Let's just brutality the siphoner. <sighs> Could we just win with rankle? Yeah. Yeah, we definitely could. Growth Spiral? That's a great... When your hand is straight land, that's a great thing to play. Okay, two unknowns in hand. Um... Yeah, let's... Shrieking Affliction. And now let's Thought Seize. We know they've got two unknowns. They're likely to play anything. Fatal Push or Legion's End? Um, yeah, I'm not really worried about them Legion's Ending. Fatal Push could kill Rankle, which I'm more worried about, so I'll let them keep Legion's End. And if we draw land, we are in the money to start Rankling. Uh, our Shrieking Affliction will start dealing damage to them, though. So that's cool. They, if they don't play anything, then sure, Shrieking Affliction won't do anything. Scavenging Ooze. Okay, that's a way for them to gain life. Um, right now there's two creature cards in graveyards. Um, one, two, three, four. 
We know their card is Legion's End, right? Reach gonna discard a card. I think we'll just start beating them in the air. I mean, they're gonna take six damage between. Yeah, right. They can, they can gain a little life here from the ooze, but. We are beating down. So they need to top deck. We, they're not gonna be able to kill this and this in the same turn. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, we have Lockthwain to draw. We're up against the Uro deck. Okay, Lint Sleeve. It's gonna give them an extra draw next turn. So that is big. I like to draw a discard card because then I could make them draw and then make them discard it. Four damage. Okay, I guess I have to start thinking about my life total, but not that much. Okay, so yeah, we will make them draw and then we'll burglar rat the card out of their hand. Lose one life, draw a card. I won't make a creature sacrifice. Ooh, and we're gonna kill them next turn. That's very cool. So let's burglar at first in case they have some sort of counter. And then we'll shrieking affliction, and the affliction triggers should kill them. We only said goodbye in words. You'll die a hundred times. Oh, there is one more burglar at some. No, they they can't survive. I don't think. Mono black gets the job done. <clears throat> well, that was a lot of fun. I can't wait to play again. Um, maybe I'll bring back some of the old decks. Let me know if there's any deck you want to see. You got the old 8 whack, uh, black white auras. Um, oh, I gotta play Rotting Regisaur Madness sometime. Let me know if there's anything you want to see. I'll be bringing the hot fire. Now that Pioneer is shaking up with some bands, it should be a lot of fun to play. And you can definitely tell there's more people playing in the tournament practice room um, than there used to be. So good job, Wizards. You're saving the format. I really really uh, happy about that uh, let me know what you think about the format blah 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 like it whatever make your grandma watch the video have a good one bye